So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we're just experimenting here, and look at this. This is literally how we beat the- yeah. So, um, we were experimenting off-camera on both Gerald and... Did I say the name right that time? Gerald. God. Gerald. Gerald. We, so yeah, we put Gerald on the front line. Him and, um, um, fin Finula also both got slept. And right now, these guys have, like, no areas <laughs> against him. This mage is the only dangerous one. Other than that, no one can hit him. Like, they have, like, they're in the single digits of hit rates. And this Pegasus is not, this is, like, this is just so stupid. I swear. If he gets hit, he's gonna go down in, like, two hits. Like, two hits and he goes down. But, like, this is just amazing. <laughs> oh my god. So while we're waiting for this to finish, right. let's find out how many fucks do you think we give at this moment? Well, I mean, like, seriously, like, there's nothing else I can do. Like, this chapter just throws a bunch of shit at you. Why are you opening plastic? Sorry, I'm, I'm hungry. Oh, no. There we go. <laughs> I just found a funny joke here to say, like, wouldn't you like say giving the fuck? So you ready to hear it? Go for it. I'm at the point of giving no fucks this far in that I might as well make a 30 year loan to show the fucks I have to repay. Okay, let me re try to reread this. Okay, that was I, te you terribly butchered that it's so hard. It's like whoever wrote this, I understand what you're trying to say, but it's like even also bad. I'm just to the point my give a fucks is so far in the red that I'm going to have to take out a 30 year loan of fucks to repay it. Okay, that makes more sense. I butchered that. Like, how can. I just pulled a Radrex. I couldn't read for a second. Okay, first off, no. <laughs> I'm making a terrible joke, I know. All right, so, we're, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is literally our strategy. We just bring Geralt, and he just solos the chapter. Who'd have thought? Like, we put a mage on the front line. Ow. Okay. Like, seriously, like this is all I can do. I can't do anything else because these enemies just bog down my units. Oh, my. Oh my, I just found something weird. August the 2nd, King of England. Oh my gosh. He was a very ugly man, but very, very strong, so he had tarred strength. He could bend swords with his hands and coins between his fingers. He had over 200 bastard children. Okay, I'm starting to think that this is a weird guy. And he's also the first recorded weeaboo in history. <laughs> I like where this is going. He collected porcelain that only came from Japan. He built a mansion just for the porcelain. Anything from China or Korea when it came to porcelain, he dismissed. He actually learned Japanese when the language was barely known to the Western world. And he actually imported Japanese slaves well, at a time when Japanese slaves were a thing. My gosh, a king of Poland was the first recorded weeaboo. Damn. <laughs> yeah, and then with the Japanese slave thing, that, that's a strange story. There was a Portuguese actually just bought a bunch of prostitutes and brought them over. And then, like, everyone in Portugal was like, hey... We could buy prostitutes. Then they were just starting to buy prostitutes from Japan in such large quantities that even the slaves in Portugal had Japanese slaves. It was crazy. And then the Pope's like, okay, guys, you need to calm down. Don't do this anymore. You got to stop being interested in women. You got to respect the women. <laughs> make a Pope, make a Popal Edict. Boom. Respect Whammon, 1592 or something. 1592. <laughs> you have to remember to write in or something in case I'm completely off on the year it was made. <laughs> but that is just... And this king of Poland grabbed like the 
got his own at the time. And it's like, my gosh. I never thought it would be a thing. That weeaboos that far in human history. I don't know whether to be impressed or disturbed. <laughs> and of course it's a Polak. Jesus, loving when dumb things like that happen. Yeah. All right, and oh wow, we got a Pegasus Knight. Yeah. It's la la la. Okay, I think we're just about done with this map. Five days later, we'll never be done. Come on. Okay. Things will be done before this video is done. The Super Bowl. Doesn't that come out next Sunday? Yeah, it's coming up on the Sunday. I'm yeah. actually like it's the first good-looking Super Bowl in a long time because you're gonna no have Patriots. Like a, you're gonna have like a big party. Ah, uh, no, I've been invited to one. I'm probably gonna do what I normally do. Have fun. Oh, all right. Well, that's all you can do. Me. Well, hopefully gonna... this doesn't end up like last year's Super Bowl party where everyone just kind of forgot the game was even happening. <laughs> What's the point? Why did we do this? <laughs> I'm, I'm moving very slowly because I don't want to like lose anyone. Hey, slow and steady runs the race sometimes. I think all the time. Unless it's like NASCAR. <laughs> What's true? I forgot about that. I actually forgot that NASCAR existed until Say, you told me. I know, I know. Like, I don't blame you. Like, NASCAR is, like, so old. Like, not an old and, like, it's just, like, the the premise itself is it's kind of boring. Like, I'm, my dad took me to, like, race car, tr like, race car rallies, like, when I was a kid. But I can never get interested in them because it's just cars going in circles. Now, if it was more like, say, pod racing, where there's twists and turns, it'd be more interesting. Or F-Zero. <laughs> like those F-1 races where they have, like, all the turns, those are more exciting. <laughs> uh, I... Man, that's... I think I figured out our billion-dollar movie idea. You ready to hear it? What? Is it pod is racing? It... Just a movie about pod racing. We'll have Vin Diesel in it because we want the Fast and Furious audience. The Rock will be there just because he's The Rock. The Rock. He plays himself in the movie. <laughs> it's a Star Wars universe, but even The Rock is just. And then just to make it even funnier, we'll have Will Smith there too because he doesn't play characters in movies anymore. He just plays himself in a movie. I can't be the only one that understands what I mean by that. Well, I mean, you know what? He, he's Will Smith. Like, what do you want from him? Him to play a character? No, he doesn't you're do asking, that. You're asking too just... much. <laughs> oh my gosh, and if Uncle Phil was alive, we'd put him in the movie too, just so he could be like, like, say, like, some some gambler addict or something like give him a silly silly idea and and then we'll get Garfield in the movie as CGI voiced by Bill Murray <sighs> CGI I'm making a, I will be lucky to get $10 on the box office with this movie at the moment we need more we need more star power in this great movie I know Adam Sandler Oh my gosh, no, no one wants to see Adam Sandler movies anymore. I mean, the Jack and Jill movie was that bad. Remember that movie? I've heard of it, but I've never seen it. All you need to do is see the trailer, and you'll instantly know <laughs> it is a shitty movie. It's like everything about the trailer just tells you, we did not care when making this movie. It was only made just so we could give ourselves a paycheck. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, we just about beat the chapter. We're gonna get Murtaugh to kill. Oh my god. Fuck this chapter. Because it's this is was such a bad chapter because 
Seriously, like, it did everything wrong. There's stay staves, like, literally everywhere. I had no units that could, like, counteract this. Oh my god. Just fuck this map. <laughs> my words exactly. We did it. <laughs> we did it, guys. Yep. Ger G Gerald. My words Gerald. Gerald. My words exactly. Oh, I thought you had them. No, no, I did. I'm just like, I'm just reading. Is something off, or are they this no, this strong normally? Nope, they are not. They're actually pushovers. It's actually a mix of what Carenza told me while we were married. Even under normal conditions, husks and monsters are about here. However, I doubt it was to the magnitudes that we have just witnessed. Hey, Gerald. Do you remember anyone mentioning something called the Dark One? Yes, I do actually, albeit vaguely. Remember when we wiped out the Birchwood Bandits a few months ago? Birchwood. Birchwood. The I is before the R. How do you mess that up? <laughs> Sorry. They were shamans in their ranks, and it was a bit off-putting for a bandit group. Also, their leader mentioned that phrase before summoning a bunch of gargoyles. Damn, Gerald. That was one messed up bandit group. Anywho, Stanley... You were saying? That's who they worshipped. To them, the Dark One is just a spirit that was contained in Ebony Spire. That is until recently. According to the spirit that you did, that did your pseudo-coronation, the containment was breached. Then we should restore the containment then. Onward! I'm sorry, containment breach just makes me think of Resident Evil. Containment breach. Yeah, remind, reminds me of Resident Evil 2. Dash 2 Dragonkin's Hamlet. Having crossed the hidden shoreline, Gerald and his army reach the base of the Ebony Spire. He also knows there's an, an, an a village close by to it, with odd people commence, com, com, commercing by. Commence, commencing by. Knowing his luck, the past will echo into his present once more. I could just imagine what they're commercing. Flashlights, get your flashlights here. <laughs> Have we seen oh, this right. guy before? No, I don't think so. All right, you want him? Well, if it isn't the kings, Gerald and Elias. Wait, how do you know who we are? Oh, pardon the brashness. Apparently, even out here, the two of you have grown into celebrities. And we don't really hear much about things outside of the hamlet. Oh, gosh, Dar, what type of name is that? Dragutin? That sounds like a like a cheese like you know like Al Graden, like something like that with cheese. Dragutin. It sounds Any like a type who? of Digimon. <laughs> like it would be called Dragumon then. Like <laughs> the, all the Digimon always end with Mon as if they're like a freaking right, Jamaican Pokemon, stereotype. Right, hey, Pokemon. here comes the Dragumon. <laughs> Anywho, my name is Dragutin, chieftain of the Dragonkin's Hamlet. Dragonkin, does that mean you're a mannequin? Indeed I am. You may know that staying in dragon form is exhausting for us, and yet a humanoid form is not as taxing on the bodies of mannequins. What about the rumor that they age slowly? Oh my gosh, everyone asks me this question all the time, freaking tourists. Indeed it is, but the aging is like you humans until early adulthood. Us Manakeets wear our ages with pride. I, for one, am older than the mainland's countries. Interesting. No, it's really not. <laughs> stop, stop being inspired by he me. Looks so, in this form, he looks like he's cross-eyed for some reason. Because he has a dead eye. It, it, it's a very embarrassing accident at a beer pong contest. I can't tell who he's looking at. <laughs> Now listen here, both of you. I'm keeping both my eyes on you. You can't leave my eyesight now. <laughs> your, hein oh. your highnesses, there are husk attacking here. Oh, damn it. Uh, it's okay. One of the NPCs I had with me helped me. There we go. I saw Carenza summon a swarm of abominations to target this hamlet. She cackled as she re-entered the spire, which I suspect is the goal point. I will defend the village then. Gerald? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Wow. <laughs> this is really Kaga style storytelling. We gotta tell you through the game cutscene how to play the game. <laughs> oh. Make sure I don't die. <laughs> I know that the odds look slim, but it's easier to said than done. Done than said? What? That that's got a typo. I got it. Stanley, Elias form a perimeter around the Hamlet. Got it? Of course, Your Highness. Sure thing. But what about worm slayers and the like? Aren't they a threat to dragons? What? Oh my goodness. Sorry, had a bit of a yawn there. <laughs> Indeed, they are a threat to manakeets. But I'd not worry too much. I am much more durable than other manakeets around here. A few stray hits won't exactly bring me down, but I'd rather live on. Besides, I wish to help you see your goal out. I understand. You better. I don't wow, want to tell you again. Oh my god, we have a survive chat. Oh my, no. oh my goodness. Look at that oh mountain. My oh. Look at that mountain. It just overtakes. Jesus Christ. Dragutin. Oh, he comes to the Dragon Stone. And it has infinite durability. Nice. The Chieftain of the Secluded Dragon King's Hamlet. And oh my god, those stats are not bad for. Wow. 20 I want com one. Oh I, my I, god. I want one as a pet. Can I have that? I hope we get this guy, because honestly, we need some new units. <laughs> Let me see. So we can bring 12 units. Well, um, I guess I can bring Fenula and Murtag. I have not built a single support. <laughs> Who needs supports where we're going? Yeah, I know. We play this game hardcore style without supports. I feel like I've lost like half the cast though. Uh, nowhere near as much as like say, <laughs> oh, uh, Saint oh not Saint yet, Clarence Saga. Yeah. Oh God. So oh, nice. that's right. Vistaria Saga is out. Yeah. I Unfortunately, know. it's twenty dollars. Yeah. Maybe if I, I like get you know, like a spare speed. twenty dollar bill, just throw it at like some Steam card, and I know like with, through that like Steam, you can actually share games with other accounts. Yeah, I'd probably I do that, but I I digress. We Let can talk see. about that later. Let me see. Uh, so far, all I've seen is a drop. Yeah, this guy drops a longbow. Thanks. Um. Hmm. So. Hmm. Seems like I, I mean, all I have to do is survive. I kind of want to see if I can visit the bill. I mean, I can't pick this guy up. I mean, do I have anyone that can pick up Tony Khan? Uh, I don't know. Uh, probably not. Nope. Maybe you could be the Tony Khan this whole time. Nope, can't do it. And, oh god, this map, uh, I don't know if I'm going to enjoy playing it because after playing the last map, dear god, I was ready to, like, you know, like, just stop playing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, when we come back, we're going to be uh, doing a uh, defend. We're going to defend uh, Dragon Tin and uh, the village. So, yeah, we actually just have to survive this chapter. We don't have to, you know, um, like, you know. Kill every last one of them. We got to buy more time. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I wish and... someone made a soundbite of that from the Rogue Squadron game. That stupid glitch where Lando just every five seconds. We gotta buy more time. One probably exists. I mean, you just have to make it. Oh, no. That's too much work. Well, then you're asking for too much. It, that's and... like telling me to turn right in my car. I'm bad at that. That's why I only do NASCAR. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, join us next time. Have a good night.